This is your partner, John Mudanye, bringing you this ride from Kisi. I am at the Ufanisi Resort in Kisi. And with me here is Madam Lumumba. She is the proprietor of this wonderful resort based in Kisi. I didn't know anything like this existed until I have come here. Uh, Lumumba, uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Isabella Lumumba and uh, I live here in Kisi. I am a graduate teacher, but currently a woman in Kisi and Kisi County. So tell me, uh, Isabella, uh, what made you get into doing this kind of business? You're running an excellent uh, resort here. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, ecotourism. Uh, what made you get into this? Uh, first, there was a need for uh, a place which, uh, which, uh, which embraced the outdoor. A place where children would run around, you'd have coffee, you'd, have, you'd enjoy your cup of tea outdoors, enjoy the fresh air. And well, so I said, why don't I explore that opportunity and see how far I can go? So how long is it? How did you start? Uh, normally to start a business, you need a lot of money. Uh, uh, and you showed me like you started in your house where you used to live in. And right now it's big. How many rooms do you have now? What are some of the challenges, particularly funding? Oh my goodness. We started with uh, a, a 16 bed capacity facility. We uh, actually we renovated part of our house to become uh, one of the rooms. And uh, that was about nine years ago. And now we are at a 60 bed capacity and uh, we have experienced a lot of challenges, but we are growing. We're growing and we, we love what you're doing. Okay, so how do you market the hotel? Uh, how do people know that you exist? You have such a, a wonderful, extremely green, beautiful place. Uh, how do you market it? What are some of your, who are some of your customers, main customers that come here? Actually, our main customers are the corporate clients. We're talking of uh, NGOs, we're talking of uh, bank institutions, we're talking of uh, institutions from Nairobi that come to give businesses in Kisi County. Yeah. And they're looking for a premium facility where they can be safe and uh, comfortable uh, as they carry out their activities. And uh, uh, tell me about, you said you're a teacher by training. Yes. <laughs> and now how come, how come you're now in a hotel and running a 60 bed uh, paradise to resort. Honestly, uh, I am a graduate teacher supposed to be teaching English and literature. I did that for a couple of years, but I was, uh, I felt the need to venture out into something different. And I said, why don't I try the hospitality industry? Kisi region in the last uh, uh, nine years ago was not as vibrant as it is. So there was a need to come up with an interesting, clean, different uh, concept of, uh, of a hotel. And uh, we took advantage of that and uh, people love the greenery that you have, they love the open doors, they love the outdoors, the gardens that you have, which are wonderful for children to run around, wonderful for weddings, for pictures, and the swimming pool. So it's coming along really well and we're enjoying doing what you're doing at the moment. There are many women out there and uh, uh, people think that business is only for men and uh, you are a lady and you're running a very, very good place. And I know like this today, we are in one of your most modern restaurants that I've seen uh, in the recent past and you're launching it afresh. How is it running such a business as a lady? Uh, it is a challenge. Honestly, you know, trying to access uh, bank, bank loans is very difficult. You have to go to your husband who owns the title deed of the property in order to get uh, financing from the bank. So it really is difficult for a woman. But uh, things are opening up lately, and uh, I want to encourage the women out there that uh, we can make it. All you need to have is the passion, commitment, and the desire to succeed, to keep going on even when things are not uh, easy. Uh, many women are trying it out there, and uh, I think there is a, a huge opportunity. Women are very hardworking, they're committed. Actually, if you look at uh, the success rates of men and women, men, men have more opportunities, women don't have, but they're equally coming up very well, and I'm very encouraged. Uh, does hotel business make money? Oh yes, it does. When you're looking at uh, accommodation, that's where the big money is. But when you're talking about food, yeah. little money is there. But uh, better breakfast, there's good money there. So if you're thinking of starting a business, 
Go for it. I would encourage you to support you. I want to give you this opportunity to talk to your customer out there. There are many people that come to Kisi. Some go to Homa Bay, others go to Siaya, Kisumu, and everywhere, and Kericho. What do you tell them about the famous Ufanisi Resort Kisi? Thank you so much, Mr. John. I'm humbled for this uh, opportunity to say something about myself. Ufanisi Resort is a, is a wonderful facility that is uh, eco-based. We love nature, we embrace nature, so we want to reach out to our customers and tell them Ufanisi Resort is a place to visit this, uh, this festive season. Uh, currently, you can see that we are all set for the grand uh, uh, inauguration of a new dining, dining room. We had a small dining that would actually only fit 28 people, but now this can sit up to 150 people. For that, we thank God and we believe that uh, with passion and commitment, it is very much possible to succeed in whichever entrepreneurial activity you take interest in. What has been your strategy? How do you attract your customer? Number one, uh, I believe in uh, not shortchanging short a client. There's nothing like uh, trying to make money to, today and forgetting about tomorrow. So it's very important to ensure that there's customer satisfaction, client satisfaction. If they're not comfortable with a meal, give another one on a complimentary basis. It's about service. People need value addition, value for their money, and value addition as well. So it's about client satisfaction, which means the rooms have to be clean, the food has to be good, the service has to be impeccable. Those are the three things that can win you business and customers. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been your partner in business and personal growth, FCPA John Mudani. We are talking to uh, Isabella, who is the proprietor of Ufanisi Resort. Uh, paradise based in Kisi town. I want to encourage you, have it for yourself. This is the place to be. This is a place to visit. It's wonderful. The rooms are clean. The food is great. The ambience is good. It's all treated up and uh, it is just the wonderful place to relax. I want to just echo the words of Isabella. You are welcome. So come and enjoy yourself. Before we close this, I just want to ask you to subscribe. Go to my YouTube channel, channel John Mudani. Press subscribe. I am in. I am also in Twitter, John Mudani. Facebook, John Mudani. And welcome. This is your partner in personal growth and business, John Mudani. God bless you and welcome. See you at Fanisi Resort in Kisi. God bless you. Bye.